Welcome. Welcome to a very special edition of Garden Angels of Justice and Peace. You heard me, Justice and Peace. We're the Garden Angels here. Let me tell you what this is about. You're going to hear from both of us today. You're going to hear from yours truly, Pearl Polto. And you're also going to hear from Josie, Brendan, and, and Hal. But I'm going to start it, and Josie can cut in any time her heart desires. I'm sure she will. We met. Actually, we didn't meet. Here's how it all started. It all started with a song, an album called Crazy Week. And this Crazy Week, I'm not into country and western. I'm in now into country and western. I wasn't into country and western. And what happened was this one person came up to me, who actually was my producer, and he said, There's a song, Pearl. There's a, a producer, a promoter. You know, he wants you to hear this. And I said, I'm not into country and western, Ron. So I put it on hold. And then a couple people that I knew from Facebook and a couple people I knew from Broadcast Pioneer said, you have to listen to this one song. So to appease them, I did. And I heard the song. The song was called I Should Know. And when I heard it, it was like everything went off in my head. And I came back to the studio and I said to Ron, we have to find this person that sings I Should Know. And we didn't even have Skype then. I said, we'll get it. We'll get it. We have to get We have to get this person. Well, then I was on a mission myself to get Josie to appear on the show. Now, I wanted to go a step further, which I did. We got the Skype. And after we got the Skype, I made Crazy Week sign up for my car. Now, Josie was watching all this at the time. So I made a Crazy Week show. And we had the policemen, we had the firemen. We had so much fun this week, if you go back to that show, where I interviewed Josie on that show. We had so much fun. And I was nervous. Why well, was nervous? Because here's a famous country and western singer, and she's appearing on my show. And, uh-oh, I, know, I owe a dollar here. Well, we'll go into that <laughs> afterwards. I, I, let, me, let, me, let me fast forward it a little bit before I, she gets rich. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, well, then that moment, I called it a heaven in the studio because it was. That moment is when two people connected. Don't know why, don't know where. We call it a miracle because that's the moment. Josie and I were talking practically every day, practically every day for four or five hours a day. Now, you're out there and you're saying, what do you have to talk about? We talked about everything and nothing, but we didn't want to hang up. And we felt an emotional connection because something was going on there. We wanted a mission. We didn't know what. We didn't even know what it was. But we knew there was an emotional connection there. So we talked and talked and talked. And every time we talked, we would bring up things and we'd make the, we would make them happen. One, the garden angels of justice and peace. And as we talked, everything that we created became live history. Now, when you see this on the desk, we're going to go into this when we go to Josie. It, it's, a, it's a milk bottle, whatever it is, a soda carton, and it says money bank when I speak ne negative. Josie made me do it. Well, <laughs> Josie would not let me say a negative word in all our four. Can you imagine me not talking negative for four or five hours? And every time I, didn't, I talked four or five hours with her, this, this was filling up. This was filling up with dollars. And I would say, okay, another dollar, another dollar, another dollar. But we made laughter out of it. We made so much fun out of it because she was true. She was a real person. So was I. She brought out the best in me. I brought out the best in her. And with this Justice Garden Angels, we, we came out with something so powerful. And let me f fast forward it because yesterday we had a meeting. We had a meeting with Burl. Now, Burl's one of the dream teams one of our dream teams of the garden angels and everything else with it. And Josie and I walked in there and we sat there and he was amazed. He looked at us and he said, I can't believe you two just met today. <laughs> and we said, yeah, we've been talking for months, but we just met today. He couldn't believe it. He was in shock. Josie, no, I'm, well, no, no, before I go to Josie, <laughs> she gave me a nickname. She gave me a nickname. And the nickname 
Soul sister. With soul sister. You're my soul sister. So we put, hey, soul <laughs> sister, welcome. And this is what we did. We have we have a lot to say. But Josie, is everything I said was real or what? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. And, and it goes back to the very first time I heard you were doing all this. I was so amazed. And um, today's show is about the people. Today's the show. But what we want to share with the people is what God graced us with, which is a connection and uh, what we want to do with the guardian angels of justice and peace because there's so many people out there that we talked about this that are really reaching out for a connection they're looking for answers they're looking for solutions so many people out there that are in pain that they they just and they're not always sharing that they're in pain and you know look at the events that are happening in the world today mm -hmm. so we want to talk about all that but the reason why this is so important is I always tell you that we were talking about negatives, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, we, 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 everything we speak is activated. Mm -hmm. So every dollar that you put in here <laughs> and that is negative, I always say you're uh, attaining a, a, a million dollars of wisdom. So for every dollar that's going into the jar, it's a million dollars of wisdom. So No, I'm going broke. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, See, I, know, now I another know, dollar, I know, another dollar, another, another, another dollar. Another. <laughs> I'm running out of dollars here. <laughs> You're attaining uh, like a million dollars of wisdom right now. So, but let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about um, when we connected. What yes. what happened in those four or yes. five hours of us having a connection, and, and really what Let it the was. People hear what you have to say. They heard what I had to say. Yeah. Well, I think I think the most important thing is that there was just a real depth of realness. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you meet somebody. And you know that they're not calling. You know, there's people that ask you questions because they want to know. Mm -hmm. And there's people that ask you questions because they care. Mm -hmm. And I think what we both felt is we were sharing things because there was a genuine interest in caring about each other and learning mm -hmm. about each other. And I think when you when you attain that connection, it's natural to want to keep that that energy going and that love going, mm -hmm. you know, that's what was being created. We felt comfortable mm -hmm. sharing all of the things that we were feeling, that we were experiencing, that we wanted to accomplish. And, you know, you and I both work with people all the time and mm -hmm. we've, you know, people come to us all the time with things that they're feeling or things they're experiencing. And we both said, you know, there's just so many people out there that are really in pain and that we are, we want to come out and share what we feel is the ingredient is is the is the one thing that's going to carry them and that really is love and putting you know god back into the place of our souls why and our us spirit. why us i mean here's me and you as burl said yesterday i can't believe you two just met today and he thought we've known each other for years i mean what was there we call it a miracle yes we call it whatever we call it but it was there and you felt the connection i felt the connection and you felt comfortable it's like i i was when your life you were in my life and yet what was there what was happening i mean this is so you know mind bottling as i call it with soul yeah. sister um well see i don't i don't the biggest thing for me is that i don't think this is about us i think this mm -hmm. is about god right okay because okay. a lot of times things happen in our lives and we question so many times and, and when we've been graced with something wonderful mm -hmm. you know it, it's not just this, a, a wonderful moment it's a grace mm -hmm. it's a moment that god is giving us so for me you know yes this connection that happened why did god is choosing people every day mm -hmm. you know there's going to be other people that are doing wonderful things for the community no, for no, people no, no. <laughs> we're, we're on the top <laughs> well you know what you know what <laughs> this is the most important is there are going to be people doing wonderful things and what we're doing is we're gathering all those like-minded people to say you know what we have a vision and we're we're gonna make this vision come to life and what we're gonna do is and you know put the pride aside put the egos aside okay and allow God to do his work through what we believe is important. you don't have no ego with this neither do I that's well, what's so good about it well what I what I want to do is look look we talked about all the articles that we're showing kids are suffering mm -hmm. right kids are suffering um individuals are suffering they're going through heartaches they're going through mm -hmm. heartbreak and let's talk about you know some of the things that we talked about why people are going through that how well let's talk let's talk about first how do we get the garden angels how did we get the name the garden angels of justice and peace let's okay. go there every time we talk yeah. we think of something else well i think the first thing you think of when you think of you know guardian angels you think of things people that are trying or um, angels that protect you mm -hmm. right and when someone protects you it's out of love mm -hmm. it's because they have pure intent mm -hmm. so I, that's where we came up with the, the the guardian angels and then we went to the source which was justice and peace mm -hmm. which is going back to a lot of things that are happening in our country right now we have to restore hope and direction in america and in the world and the only way we can do that is by 
um, restoring justice and some peace into people's lives. So I think that's where we ended up coming up. Do you remember the story behind yes, that? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yes, where I it came up. Wait a minute, I have to, I'm going to stop here because I have to tell them what happened yesterday. Okay. <laughs> yesterday, we had a meeting with one of our dream teams, which is Burl Walk. And, and she had the video of the, the Garden Angels of Justice and Peace. So she demanded, she demanded that we get a big screen for them to watch it. She said, is that okay, Pearl? <laughs> She's asking me and not Pearl. Well, so go ahead, go ahead. Well, you, when you say, here's what I, I wanted to make sure. I know, you don't have to explain. You don't have to explain. We started off with this little computer thing and I said, no, we really want to make sure that they get the clear presentation. So I want to make sure that we got the big. The they, big... Get, they get the picture, okay. just. <laughs> they get the picture. So then well, she got what she wanted. She got what they wanted. I mean, after a half hour, she, they found the key to get into the room to get this big computer for her to watch it. Now, as she's in this room, she's very serious about this, and so was I. And I said to Burl, this is going to blow your mind because what she put together. And this gentleman came into the room. Now, she didn't know who the gentleman was. I did, but she didn't. And they got the video up. And she's so for real with this gentleman, explaining to him, so sincere. And then finally, Burl Walk said, do you know who he is? You tell him who he was. Well, he, why don't you tell him? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who she was, This who this gentleman was, when Martin Luther King was shot, he was right beside him, correct? Yes. And yes. here's a guy, when Martin Luther King was shot, his name was Mr. Jesse Epps that was in the room with us. How honored. And wow. no, but this is the this is the, the crazy part. She talks about a crazy week. <laughs> this is the crazy part. Here's this gentleman that witnessed Martin Luther King Mm. And he's sitting there watching the video, watching her speak. And I sat there with a smile on my face. So did Burl. Because as she's teaching him, she didn't know who he was. She's teaching him, do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> and he's yes. getting everything. He's getting everything. And then she realized who this person was. Now, all this came out of her mouth. All this came out of her heart. All this came out of her soul. And then, she, and I'm glad she didn't know who he was. She probably would have been a nervous wreck, right? <laughs> yes, probably. Absolutely. Yeah. So because she, she, she educated him and she really thought she's educating this stranger that walked in the room and then he gave her a talk unbelievable. Mm -hmm. He gave her a talk so bad where he says, you're not going back. You're not <laughs> going back to your hometown. Yeah. And she said, well, whatever God leads me, that's where I'll go. So she's staying in Philly for a while. <laughs> and, and, you know, Mr. Rebs, I know you're going to be watching this. But she was honored. You, you. Yes, completely honored. I mean, just to be able to. Teach him. <laughs> to share. <laughs> to you share, know, we're sharing share. because that man is a man of wisdom. He's got so much wisdom in him. But you and didn't know. I didn't know. And, you know, that's what, that's another grace. We mm -hmm. talk about grace from God is that you don't know when things happen like that. These are these are moments that you just look at and, and who would have ever guessed that that would have been such a miracle that would have happened that I'm sitting in a room that really was that that was magnifying everything that I was feeling in spirit, you know, of what I wanted to what I was hoping to create for for the world, you know, to, and to have people restore hope. And they were talking about it before we even got there. Yeah, I mean, it's just amazing how things happen. And yeah, I would have definitely been nervous. I think naturally my, my passion and my desire to make sure the message was clear would have been there. Mm -hmm. But um, he was just so graceful with what he was talking and sharing too. And and the fact that he was receptive to mm -hmm. what, what had to be said was mm -hmm. really where where the miracle was. So yeah, this was it was really amazing to now, see that. Now, this is a question out of the box. Yes. What do you think of Philadelphia? I love Philadelphia. We haven't really seen anything yet. We I will. Just, we will. Bar. We will. <laughs> I just came here yesterday, so we still have to see it. But the people are amazing. I mean, just the, the airport and uh, the drive here, and just you what know. was your what was your feel at the airport when we first met? What was my feeling? Yeah, I was in a wheelchair. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, they don't know. We we didn't. We all we did was talk for several several months, months, months. months. Okay, all we did was talk. I connected, and so I I knew I, I knew what you looked like from mm -hmm. you know the video and the pictures. Mm -hmm. But then I saw you, and then you were sitting in a wheelchair, <laughs> and when I saw you sitting in a wheelchair, I said, "Oh, she forgot to tell me something," you know. <laughs> but then you got up, <laughs> so she's healed, you know. <laughs> She got it from the wheelchair. She's healed. <laughs> Hallelujah. God, you do it. But you know, I another thing that we need to make sure that the people know that I had like a, what, a, a, and a 12 o'clock midnight flight. Everybody in the wheelchair thought that you healed me. Yeah. <laughs> 
And of course, I was worried because, you know, I, I came from an overnight flight and I got the bed head, you know, with the hair, you know, all over, you know. But hey, you know what? We're soul sisters, right? Doesn't make a difference what we look like or what's going on. <laughs> well, the crazy part is she got no sleep that night. Yes. But the crazy part is she wasn't thinking, we didn't get any sleep either. <laughs> and here, her ride and mine were sleeping in the car. <laughs> It, it was, I think, it was, it was a moment in time. I think the moment in time, though, was with Burl. Yes. Yes, I would agree. The moment in time was with Burl. Burl, no offense, but you, you are right. You don't shut up. But he was quiet. He was quiet when Josie did her presentation. And, and then all of a sudden, he seen Josie and I together, connecting. And he was so shocked. He looked at me and he said, you just met her today? <laughs> and he was shocked. He said, you, you might have thought you know each other for years the way I'm watching. And you know, I thought it was an honor. I really thought it was an honor. And and like I said, to him, no, I just met her today. We've <laughs> talked, we've known each other for months, since October 12th. Yes. October 12th. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And that's really, the, that's what we're talking about today is because I think what's important about the Guardian Angels of Justice and Peace is really about allowing ourselves to reach out to people and being open. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times we're so afraid of being judged, mm -hmm. you know, because our society has become a judge society. Mm -hmm. And yet we we and so we we talked about a lot of things yesterday, like how things have just become contaminated. What I mean by that is is that we've lost the purity of some things like food and politics and and love. You know, people don't know what love is anymore because mm -hmm. you know generation through generation, there's so many people in pain, so they have a distorted view of what love is. Mm -hmm. And you know, we were talking about for me. You know, the message that I would have, because I've got a lot to share about some of the experiences I've had in life, is that you have to fall in love with God before you fall in love with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Because by falling in love with God, you are ultimately creating a level of awareness and really raising the bar for what you want in your life because God represents the fullest form of, of living. Mm -hmm. And so when you're falling in love with God first and then falling in love with somebody, it's more full because that somebody is being drawn to you based on the same principles if you're looking for the right, the right connection. So ultimately, you know, this is not about Josie or Pearl. Mm -hmm. This is about the vision. This mm -hmm. is about wanting to people to experience um, hope because there's just so many people. I mean, we, we get letters and emails. I'm sure you've gotten them. Mm -hmm. I get them all the time mm -hmm. because I think a lot of the things that we talk about or share in our either in our music or in the work that we do, people come up to us and they on they just open up. They share their feelings, and there's a lot of people out there that are I think just looking for someone or something to to um, connect to connect with. And I always talk about God. And I'm very open about it because mm -hmm. I truly believe that is the only way for me. If it wasn't me, for God, we wouldn't be here. Today. Correct. We wouldn't be here today. Yes. I mean, I mean, when you say miracles, uh, this is a miracle. Yes. And and I think God has to make us look at ourselves. Yes. Before we help others. Yes. And He put you in my life, me in your life, vice versa, because the connection that's out there. There's so much loss between yes. laughter, between love. People doesn't know the meaning of it. There's so much hate. There's so much killing. And 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 I I want to bring the attention with the Garden Angels of Justice and Peace where it not just you know, peace with the credit cards, the banks, the divorces. It's kind of bringing it all to a forefront that, you know, we don't have to live in a world where we have so much stress. And, and Josie has, I'm sure, you know, she's a very busy person. So am I. But combining, do you see the stress is off of us? Yes. And and we can make the stress off of us. It's just connecting. And what we're really we're telling what we're telling to America today is we're sharing the message that we want you to participate in the movement. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to be doing seminars around the country, and it's going to be it's it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be live music. It's going to be everything to lift your soul, lift your spirit, get you reminded of who you are, what you're about, what you were cre created to be. And um, and not only about restoring credit, you know, because people talk about credit and what we, what, what we talk, let's talk about that, because we, remember, we talked about how people get lost in thinking that their credit score defines yeah. who they yeah. are. You were so right. And, you know, what I said is that a credit score is just a moment in time. So those of you who have bad credit scores and you're thinking that defines you, it doesn't define you. God defines you. You know, you're ultimately already magnified in his glory. Everything about you is perfect. It's just that you got to get yourself back on track. And that's what our seminars are going to be around the country is that we're going to focus on what you do, what your gift is, and helping people restore credit. 
and then I'm going to focus on the the personal side of of how to renew your words and your thoughts and your pro in your mind mm -hmm. and uh, and hopefully maybe even connect you with God at some point and if you're already there fantastic if not then I'm just, this is just definitely open up your world to what is possible you know through that kind of connection we're trying to connect everybody out there not just the positive the negative people there's a lot of negative people out there we're going to turn them over to the positive side we want them to actually feel there is hope out there I mean it, here's two people that never met come on you know yesterday there's a philly expression and i said to her beginning of the thing i said do your thing josie and she's saying what does do your thing mean I said, it's a philly thing do your thing but she did her thing and that was connecting to that room and as i sat there and smiled i was smiling i told her for a reason because she connected to that whole room that was in that room and she made a clear point and as the people in that room said Hey, you know what? You're making it, you're saying it in pure English. And that's with, with both of us. We say things in pure English. So the people out there that cannot understand, or you, you don't have it, you, let's say you don't have that person. If you're married, divorced, whatever. If you don't have that person in your life to, to put that connection, well, find them. Find them. It's not hard. I mean, it's not hard to find connections. It's gonna, it'll come to you. It will come yes. to you. Yes. It came to us. Yes. And we're now we're teaching everybody else. Yes. I think the biggest thing is that again, people, you know, people don't realize what an incredible gift they are. You know, I think that people, if you talk to people, a lot of times they minimize who they are because they're somewhere there's a block somewhere in their in their in their thoughts or in their spirit or whatever. And there's a lot of times when I meet people, they've got so much greatness, mm -hmm. you know, inside of them. There's just so much to see, but if they can't see it yet, you know, and sometimes you do have to reach out. You do have to reach out to other people. You have to know which people to reach out to, mm -hmm. you know, because there are people out there that will try to minimize you because it's not because of you. It's because they're still working on their own self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you have, you have to see who's approaching you, who's talking to you, and then realize whether or not that person is someone that you really want to bring into your life to take you to the next place mm -hmm. of growing, or are these people growing themselves in this place? And so maybe you're going to love them because they're, they're doing the best they can with what they know, mm -hmm. but they're not necessarily in that place of where, you know, you want to go or what you're aspiring to go to. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Yes, so I think those are the things, and those are the things we're going to talk about at the seminars. Is, is that we're going to go out there and share with the world that um, that everything is possible. That's what I believe, you know. Mm -hmm. And I joke around. If those that know uh, that know a little bit about, I, I talk about Albert Einstein all the time, you know. <laughs> well, he followed us last night. <laughs> He because us. you know Albert Einstein, you know if you if you think about him, you know look at this man. He's just you ever see some of those images of him? He's riding his bike. He's still got a, you know he's this brilliant man, but still he's a kid at heart. You know he's got that crazy hair. And that's her uncle. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I adopted him. I did adopt no. him spiritually. I adopted him, but you know um, the thing is, is that he's got this crazy hair. He's just he's just being himself. And he, so he's got this incredible intelligence, and and at the same time he's got this childlike. A childlikeness about him and, and he's so he's he's in that in that way you just appreciate him because that for me for me that's the balance for me is like i want this wisdom but at the same time i i don't ever want to lose that being that kid yeah. joking around yeah. laughing and sharing and just seeing those those little things that make life you know special you know what i mean no so <laughs> <laughs> no please explain it i don't know what you mean by that as a matter of fact uh-oh <laughs> as a matter of fact i said i was going to give you a little surprise josie has her own business and I have my own business, as you know, with credit. And she does everything else. Josie is a boss, believe me. And so am I. <laughs> People that know me. But you see, I thought this, I would have to. I'm Can I just say something? Go ahead. <laughs> No, you, you, you really. got to put a dollar. Oh, you got to put. Uh, what you got to put it now. I'm running out of dollars. I got change here. What did I say wrong? Because, because a boss. When you think of a boss, we're not bosses. Well, okay? I'm sorry. As of tonight, <laughs> we are. No, know. no, no, no. You got. You can't make me lose my thing here. <laughs> okay, go. Go ahead. Do your thing. Do your thing. Oh I'm my god. I'm the boss, Josie, and I'm the boss, Pearl. Oh my so. gosh. <laughs> So, you know what? No, you know who's the boss? Well, I, I'll know, wear this. I no, you know, no, this is okay. this is not for you to wear it. <laughs> I know, I know. Who's the boss? Our producer. Bruce Springsteen. No, the boss. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. That's the boss. You know, I'll tell you who my boss is. God. God is the boss. Well, on this, okay. when you go to work, yes. this is Josie. Okay. I'm the boss here. So I'm, I don't work okay, for Josie. Can I just, Josie I'm, I'm going to put down God is the boss. Okay. Because we have to be clear. Oh, we will be clear. <laughs> we will be, I know. Yeah, there you go. Put it down. <laughs> I'm running out of dollars here. 
<laughs> I'm running. No, yeah, because the, that is the truth. God is the boss. This, okay, God is the boss. Those of you just tuning in, this <laughs> those is of you a money tuning bank. In. This is a money bank. And when I <laughs> speak a negative, or Josie doesn't like me to talk negative. Yes. And believe me, that's tough for me, We're as you know. Uh oh. <laughs> another doll. Another, another piece of change. Then I put on here, when she first came in to Philadelphia, I put, Josie made me do it. I said, You're going to get rich here. You're going to get rich here. And, you know, I'm going to What did perfect. I say? What did I, I say about the money? What's. <laughs> You know, you know, that's the first thing. If there's somebody at home right now, you know, let's say there's somebody at home and you want to make it light. Okay. What I mean is, you know, there's someone at home that does not speak very positive. It's, there, it's every <laughs> once in a while, there's someone at home. No, you're right. Okay. You're right. Okay. So what you do is you go home and you, you find anything at the house, Tupperware, jar, glass, whatever it might be. And we're asking you to put a sheet of paper over it. This is what Pearl did. This is a money bank when I speak negative because most people uh, subconsciously sentence, don't know. Please. Read the last sentence, <laughs> okay. please. Josie made me do it. <laughs> okay, yeah, Josie. Jo <laughs> Josie made me do it. So I don't care what you get. It does not have to be fancy. We just want you to get some Tupperware. <laughs> As I can see, it's not fancy. That's okay. It's real. This is real. <laughs> it's from the dollar store. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, but the bottom line is here. Stay focused. The bottom line is put a dollar in. Put, it, I put a dollar. Okay. <laughs> the, the bottom. The, the bottom line is just get something at home and write down any time that person speaks negative. It might be both of you. You might have two jars. There could be three or four or five jars at home. But every time someone speaks negative, you put something in here. Dollar, whatever. And it, you got to try to catch each other. Now here's the deal, because you want to focus on the positive. As this is my. This is how I do it. Catch okay? each other. Catch each other because here's the deal: for every dollar or every change that goes in here, right? Just have to think to yourself: I've attained a million dollars of wisdom. Okay, so so you how much how much is in here right now? If you have okay five dollars here, Pearl, from really you learned five million dollars of wisdom. I okay, have. we're just throwing that. I have. So I have. you can start that. That's what I would recommend because the power of our words. If and then, okay, so now we're going to talk about God because I'm going to go right into it. Mm -hmm. Because everything we say is activated. Mm -hmm. What we speak becomes real, right? So if you constantly say to yourself, I'm broke, I'll never find a job, or whatever it is, Listen you're, to you're, this. you're activating that. So what, what we're trying to do is we're trying to stop the activation mm -hmm. of negative we're, and we're bringing in the positive. Okay, well, let's, let's take that a little bit deeper. Because now I'm going to go into, you know, we talk about the scripture. And I was talking to you about that when we were together. No, I love it. I you know, it. is because the scripture teaches us that what we say, be careful of what you say, because what you speak of shall become. Mm -hmm. So you always want to speak of things because you're decreeing. You're decreeing to the world. You're decreeing to God. You're decreeing every single day everything you speak. So, um, so basically the bottom line is, is that it's not just about positive energy, bad, you know, negative energy. It's not about being positive person. It's about knowing that God has promised you. He's promised us to have a life with purpose, to have a life of prosperity. He's promised us a plan and we have to trust that. What about the so, people out there that are depressed, yes. not working, health problems, and they're watching this and they're saying, well, it's easy for them to say, but. I, I'm sitting here without a job, can't pay my mortgage, I have cancer, and how do you correct that? How do you correct that from that negative into a positive? What do they want me to do? Say, I don't have, I get a job? How do they correct that? You're the expert here, not me. I'm the expert on credit. Uh, you, you, you know what? I, this, is, this, is, this is, if you ask me who I am, I always say I'm a work in progress and I'm awakened every day, okay? Those, you know, you look at me and you see singer, you see music, you see all these things. But I have been through so much, and I'm very open about that. I share that with people. I've been unemployed. I've had issues. You know, I, there was a time when I went through, a, you know, a, a divorce several, several, mm -hmm. several years ago. That was really something that was devastating. I lost everything, but I never lost my spirit. I never lost that. I always, I always stayed in, in, in with following God, even though there were times I questioned God and I was hurt and I, and I wondered why, you know, I, you know, if you, there's people at home, I don't know if you ever experienced this, where you cry into your pillow and you're asking God, you know, why is this happening? You don't understand it. That's the realness. I've been there, you know, and I have been there. So when people say, how do you, how do you deal with that? 
you still have to reach out. You have to talk to God. I talk to God all the time. I know his eyes roll. You know, right? I talk. Yeah, I, I joke around. I say I talk to God so much he rolls his eyes. You know, he's like, oh, it's Josie again. You know, but I do. I talk to him. I talk to him in my car. I talk to him in my house. I talk to him in my office. I talk to him with my friends. You know, the ones that are open to it. I talk because I want a relationship with our Creator. I want him to know that you know I need him, and I I want him in my life, and it's important. So what I would advise anybody is to just be real. You know, you yeah, know, be yeah, real. Be you real. don't have to pretend you're in pain. Say, I, God, I'm in pain. You know, I need you. And um, and and reach out to people that are going to love you through the process. And look what happened with us. Yes. Look what I, happened. I think the biggest thing for me is I, you know, it, 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 it breaks my heart when I see people out there that don't have family or mm -hmm. friends mm -hmm. and they feel alone, mm -hmm. you know, because there's a lot of people out there in that situation. Two people that and connect. here's what I'm going to say. If you're watching this right now. You have family. This is family right here. And this family is, you You have, but let's talk about the family that's being created with Burl and oh, with with, yeah. uh, with Jesse. Jesse. You know, I mean, this is amazing what's happening right now. There is a movement here that's happening, and you do have family. You can connect with us. Bigger than life. Yes. We're going to yes. make this bigger than life. But we're going to, we, we'd like you to join in. We would like you to join in uh, with our connection, uh, of the Garden Angels of Justice and Peace. And we put together, as I said, if you have a you know a church organization, anything, anything that you want Josie and I to appear right in front of the stage, all you have to do, you know, is call us, call us. We have, and, never, and now I'm, I'm going to put this out here now because I've got a thousand of them. <laughs> but everybody out there that would like to join, it's going to be easy. Just you know, email us. You know, the Garden Angels of Justice and Peace. There's the website up there, and we will give you, we will actually give you the the bracelets, the Garden Angels of, of J&P. Now, I know it's a coincidence, J&P, <clears throat> Josie and Pearl, but this justice and peace is very important because this is what this country is lacking. And if you do want a seminar, you know, you're going to you're, you're gonna meet Josie, you're going to meet me, yours truly, and we're going to be on the same stage. And, 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 and just and, share with the people, just be real and just share with the people and let mm -hmm. them know that, you know, God has not abandoned them mm -hmm. and that, you know, there is hope and restore America, you know, because there's so many people. It that... starts with you. It starts with us. Yes. Uh, she has taught me personally, as I always say, thank you. God bless. And I'm and, still learning, too. You and, teach me, too. Well, you know, you do. Every day you teach me. We teach each other. Yeah, we're teaching you each know? other. You know, we do. Yeah, we are. We're teaching each other to the point and, and, and it's getting bigger and bigger for us to teach you. And it's working. It's yes. Working, you know, and sometimes it's so much, I, you know, there's so much people out there. It's already started this morning. It's already started this morning. Somebody emailed with a beautiful song. Yes. That, you know, and we, we, we played it this morning. And, and it was like they're getting touched already. But we want to touch everybody out there, not just to listen to the show. Pass it around to your, your family, your friends. Join out. Join us. If you have nothing to lose. What do you have to lose? You'll be laughing more, right? Yes, loving more. They'll be loving more. They'll be praying more. Things positive, things will happen. When I say, when Josie says things will happen, we talk, and then it happens. Next day, two days later, we see it. We see it being magnified. I mean, it. it we look at each other like, did this call really come in? Did this email yes. just come in? Yes. Yes. I yes. Mean, we, we talked last night, and today an email came in that everything we talked about, or everything yes. the garden angels. We're talking. It may be four or five hours, but look what we created. Just by talking. Well, you know, that's the thing. God created it. God created it. God created it. <laughs> we got to give him give all the... Give us some credit. He's, he's saying, God, you know... We got to give God all the praise. That's that's something I believe in. praise. I'll give God all the praise We're at all times. We're giving him all the praise. Yes. But he put us... We He's giving... To me, he put two instruments together. Correct. But we are all instruments. The world is an instrument. All of us are instruments. Do you see why I? Do you see why now this 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 is? Well, it's the truth. I mean, think about it. I mean, okay, right. so no, let's let's right. use the word she's instruments. Right. Let's use instruments. You know, you let's just pretend that I have a guitar, you have the trumpet, and there's no, then we have the violin. Or pick, 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 pick whatever pick instrument whatever you want. want okay, right? but you know, we play by ourselves. There's beauty in, in individuality. Right. But then you add up the individuality of one instrument with the individuality of another instrument, right. and the individual individuality of another and then all of a sudden you have this an amazing orchestra of sound well that's the same thing when it comes to people you know we are all different mm -hmm. we all have this uniqueness mm -hmm. and it's that uniqueness but yet the common theme of wanting to do things at to to bring hope and restore hope and direction is what's really going to cause us to move forward
-hmm. And I think that's what has to happen. That's what I believe has to happen. And that's what this movement is about. And it will. And, and it is happening. It's mm -hmm. already happening. It's already and again, the most important thing is, because I, I, I know there's people out there, they send me emails, and I love you for it because you're being so real to me. You know, I read those emails. They, they, my team forwards it to me. And when I get those emails, when you're just you're sharing something from the core of your soul, I want you to know that they are read. And, we, you know, we pray on it. We pray on mm -hmm. these emails that come in and the things that are well, happening. Now you have a special email. They do have a special website to go to now. They have that special website, the Garden Angels of Justice and Peace, to contact Josie. And all they have to do is push a button. Well, they're going to contact. They're going to contact both of us because mm -hmm. that's how it was designed for both of us. Mm -hmm. But really, you're you're contacting more than the two of us because there's a whole dream team that's yes. being created around the country, yes. and these are leaders of our of our country coming together that are saying, you know what, we're putting ego aside, mm -hmm. and we're letting the human spirit step in, and we're letting God step in to direct our our uh, our vision mm -hmm. and our purpose and our plan. And it's going to happen. We're going to bring the people together to make it happen. And that's what's really happening right now. It's happening now. Isn't yes. It? Yes. Yeah. And we both feel it. Yes, definitely. We both feel it that something's going on and we know it. We talk. And, and as we're saying, you know, as we're talking, it's working. It's already happening. And, and you know, the thing that I want to talk about, too, is let, let's talk about um, we, we went back to credit. We were talking about credit. You've been mm -hmm. doing credit for years. Mm -hmm. And and what do we what do we say? Credit is such a personal thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's such a personal mm -hmm. thing. And oftentimes people will think it defines who they are, mm -hmm. right? But what we, what we talk, what we want to share at the seminars and share around the country is that God defined God defined who you are. God defines who we are. And um, what I want to make sure that the people know is that we're going to give them we're going to give them not only information, but they're going to have things to take home to share with their family, their friends. They're going to be able to take that information to make sure that it's something that's going to last mm -hmm. in the family. Does that make sense? So, yeah, it does make sense. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when you go to that website, it's going to connect you to every website. It's going to connect you to everything that we're doing, um, everything. And, and it's, it's, I call, I know she's going to say God did it, but Josie is, is a genius when it comes to certain things. Well, I you know. know you say that, but I give it to God, you know? <laughs> I know. I, I told you, but I don't have any more change. <laughs> the Lord works, you know, the Lord works through all of us, you know? Well, thank so. God, Burl. Thank you, Burl. <laughs> I mean, he also added it to you, so he yeah. was on my side when he said it. Yeah. Well, you know, here, let, let's talk about something else, because people sometimes say, they don't want to talk about God all the time, right? Right. I mean, they... No, they, you're right. You're right. You know, that's, that's, and, that's, you know it's like, right. why not? Why don't we want to talk about God? You know, there's all oh, because you're going to, you know, certain people... Because God is not giving them what they want, they think. Well, no, I think it's a political thing. Like, you shouldn't talk about God or, you know, there's a certain time and a place. You know what? Wherever I'm going, I'm bringing God with me, mm -hmm. okay? He is with me. He's in me. Mm -hmm. He's a part of who I am. He's a part of what I believe. And, you know, I don't think we should keep God. I don't think God should remain silent or God should remain anonymous. He's not in school. These coincidences. Where, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Let's talk about what happened at that mm -hmm. school that uh, with the with those, you know, those children that happened in that mm -hmm. the devastating thing is that, 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 um, the gentleman or that young man that actually that came into that school, you know, he was suffering. His parents had gone through a divorce. Look at the jokes that they go through, and they'll say, well, where was God during this? And then God answers and said, I wasn't allowed in the school. Wasn't allowed in the school. Yes. I mean, that's the little joke that's going around, but it's so true. God is saying, I wasn't allowed in the school to stop this. So put me back into the school, you know, and that's, that's the secret is putting God back in your life. Even though, like she said, everybody says, God, 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 that people don't want to hear it, but come on, come on. This is where it all begins, you know? Yes. It's Yes. And if you actually go to the original, where our forefathers for this country, America, mm. you know, one nation under God. Yeah. That's what it says, one nation under God. Yes. And yet, we're trying to take God out of everything. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, and this is what's happening. Mm -hmm. We're trying to minimize, you, you know, think we, God's we, mad. I, you know, you I, I'm, not, I'm not going to speak for I God. Mean, no, but you think he's <laughs> angry? That's why he put us together to, to maybe he thinks that, you know, wow, if I put these two together, and help them both out, then they're going to take the load off of my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, I, I think, do I, I don't want to speak for God, but mm -hmm. I do believe he believe, He wants all of us mm -hmm. to do our part, okay. you know. And, you know, we're what we're doing here is just a fraction of what is about to happen because there's going to be so many other people that are going to be a part mm -hmm. of the vision that already, you know, we had our meeting yesterday, mm -hmm. so we know what's happening, mm -hmm. right? Um, but I, I believe that that is God is God, God is worried. I think God is not not worried. He wants us to restore our lives. He wants us to be reminded of what He promised us. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, here's the biggest thing. 
I've gone to, in all my years, of, you know, with business and stuff, I've gone to every seminar. I've been part of different seminars, Anthony Robbins seminars. I've gone to leadership groups, have trained and coached and all that stuff. And what I found for myself when I was going through the most devastating period of my entire life is that when I had that quiet space where I sat back and I just prayed and I allowed myself to focus on, you know, God and the scriptures and things of that nature for me, mm -hmm. I realized, oh my gosh, I spent all these years trying to find, you know, leadership, you know, talking, renewing, whatever. And all the answers are already in the Bible. It's mm -hmm. already in the word, you know, and people are looking for all this. You don't need to go to all these fancy, fancy, fancy seminars to find how to renew your mind. You know, the Bible has so much in it. So that's just that's just what I believe. And I'm sharing my message mm -hmm. and being honest and open of who I am. That's where all the music that I write mm -hmm. is really about authenticity, you know, about it's just keeping it real and sharing honesty and sharing talking about love, talking about truth, talking about feelings and, and even joking around every once in a while. You gotta laugh. You know, you gotta have those moments where you laugh. I said she didn't want me to bring her but not to I mean Wednesday we have a uh, a show with Josie and I. Uh it's gonna be another show coming up but and this is going to be on the divorces and the credit but she didn't want me to bring up her music today and and there's but i i'm going to bring it up anyway if she liked it or not <laughs> <laughs> there's one there's there's a song in there it's called you know i, I want to be i don't even know how to say it now right i gotta read it right see this, i want to love like i want to love like that <laughs> and and people i want you to to just listen to the words of that. I want to love just like that. If you're you're married, divorce, and we're going to go into that uh, as well. But this is this is so true. The words that she puts into her songs, you know, I believe that should be the theme song of the Garden Angel. She agrees or disagrees, but it's going to happen anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about uh, since you mentioned it. Let's talk about I want to love like that. Okay. Because when I wrote the song, is I just how many people out there have you ever seen those that adorable couple? Like just walking down the street, they've been married for years. You can tell they've been married for forever. And you see the couple holding each other's hand and mm -hmm. he's still opening the door for her. She's still doing little things for mm -hmm. him. And you just know it could be five, five minutes in the room or five minutes in, in the street. And you just see this couple walk by and you know they've been married for a long, long, long time. And you say, wow. You know, look at that love. They're still together, you know, and you know that they've gone through the good, the bad, the ugly, mm -hmm. whatever. They're still together. They mm -hmm. still love each other deeply. And you look at them and you say, I want to love like that. Mm -hmm. And that's really where I wrote, I wrote the song because I, for me, you hear about so much divorce. You, see, you hear about all the negatives, right? Mm -hmm. And what you focus on expands, okay? So if you keep thinking about all the negatives and all the, the, the divorce and all that stuff that's happening out there, and all of, you know why relationships don't work and this and that you're going to see more of that but if you focus on what you do want you will attract that of which you you believe and that what you feel and that what you want so, and that's really what that song's about i want to love like that is about looking at this old couple that is just they've been together through the good the bad the ugly whatever but they love each other to the core they've made a commitment they're together and that's what that song is about. And, you know, she told me not to do this. We're going to do it anyway, though. But this is on Crazy Week, the Crazy Week album. You have to, I must have played it, you know, hundreds of times. She's so going to have to give me another CD now with it. But, you know, this this song, when you hear it, uh, I, wanted, I wanted a theme for the Garden Angels. And I never heard that song in the CD, believe it or not. I heard all of them. And, and all of a sudden, I played it and because she was talking about it. And I listened to it. I thought, oh, my God, this is it. This is the people who are the divorces that she's an expert she's in <clears throat> actually teaching people of, of the experiences and stuff like that and i'm not and and then it goes back to the credit so it goes hand in hand what we're doing and uh and let me be the first to tell you you know in the next month six months from the, she's going to also be an author i assure you she's going to be an author <laughs> we're writing a book right now yes yes but the, the thing that i would want to share with with the people out there is that um the entire vision of guardian angels of justice and peace is about is about hope mm -hmm. it's about restoration it's about bringing changes uh, changes and some people don't like the word change we talked about yes, that we they did. don't like the word change so here's what i would say you, we're talking about the renewal renewal the renewal is your word <laughs> the renewal of your spirit the renewal of your mind the renewal of your life 
You know, and I don't care how bad you have it. God's got a plan. He's got a great plan for you, and that's what this is all about. And we're going to bring you we're going to bring you the best of the best from around the country to share the information with everybody. What about the people? Now, this is going to come on the forefront and you think you know it. There's a lot of, you know, envious people, jealous people out there and and they're going to be jealous of you, they're going to be jealous of me going to the top or teaching people. What do you say to these people? What do you say when you want them to turn over our way and be more positive? What do you say to these people that says, huh, you know, I don't like what they're doing. I don't care what they're doing. And, and do we just ignore it or what do we do to the people that are so jealous of you or me or us together or the apple in the tree or, you know, God, what do we do? What do we say to these people? You're the ones with the words. So, you know, <laughs> and God puts the words to you. So what do you say to these people to make them join forces with us? I think the biggest thing is love them. Love them anyway. Love them anyway. I don't focus on those on the people that, you know, are judging or that are jealous. I don't focus on that. That's not my focus, you know, but my goal would be is to love them anyway, is to still be present when they want to have me present, you know, to still share the message mm -hmm. because we're all, I think that the thing is, is that we're seeds, there are seeds that are being planted, which is love does not give up. Mm -hmm. Love is there through good, the bad, the ugly, mm -hmm. right? That's mm -hmm. what real love is. So um, my, my thing would be to bless them, to pray for them and to love them anyway. And hopefully through that process, you know, there'll be an awakening of their spirit and they'll see that we're consistent, mm -hmm. you know, because we can't replicate that of which we don't want to become. Mm -hmm. Right. So if they're jealous, does not mean does that that doesn't mean that we become, you know, we react to that. You know, I'm not going to react to that because that's not that's not my focus is my focus is on my vision. My focus is on my beliefs. My focus is on my spirit. Mm -hmm. What I want to what I want to accomplish. I'm not going to focus on that, but I will love them. I will love them. I will pray for them. I will do what I can for them. Doesn't mean I'm perfect. You know, there's moments and times when you do get angry, when you mm -hmm. do feel something that's human, you're mm -hmm. being human, but that will not be, that's not, that's not an, an everyday thing that, that I focus on at all. It's, it's, I'm focusing on what, what my purpose, my plan, what I believe God intended this journey, this life that I'm on to be about. Mm -hmm. Are that you happy over this journey? I mean, what do you think of this journey that we're on? What do you think? Well, you know, I mean, we cried yesterday. Let's let's be mm -hmm. real. I mean, I cried. I should say I cried. <laughs> yeah, don't ever say I cried. No, no, you can say that. <laughs> I cried yesterday because you know, I we I had we did this presentation. We shared the vision. We shared the dream, and we had this amazing reaction mm -hmm. by some of the most you know incredibly intelligent people in the world, mm -hmm. and that to me was an amazing thing. You know, when you work on something so hard and then you just do you do it, and then people appreciate it. They can see it. They can taste it. They want it. You know, it's like, wow, this is real. And so how do I feel about it? I, every day to me is a miracle. You know, I, I'm, I, I, we, we left there. We're on the elevator. I was crying. I was, you know, we're hugging you and saying, God bless. This is amazing. You know, this is what we, we this is what we were planning for. Yeah. And God has graced us with, uh, with a miracle here. Yeah. So. Yeah. And it's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen. Yeah. I believe it's going to happen. Josie believes it's going to happen. I do. Uh, if you push your, put your emotions, you know, get a second thought in life where, you know, be real. And this is what we're trying to be here even tonight, today, it's not a nighttime show, but we're trying to be real. And, and you can't be just real talking from words from a paper or me doing a credit seminar, her doing a divorce seminar, her doing, you know, when she writes her music, what we're trying to do is, is we see the hurt and pain in this country. And if we see the hurt and pain in this country, if people could associate and say, you know, when they look at people and hear people, when you go to seminars, what do you do? You get educated. Well, this is our, our seminar to you to say, hey, we didn't even know each other as of yesterday morning. We didn't even know each other. We didn't physically meet. We didn't physically meet. Yes, because we did. We did know each other in spirit. Yes. We had conversations. Lots. We had. We had for several months. Mm -hmm. We shared, mm -hmm. and every time we shared, we're like we had another aha moment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which was a blessing that we were talking about different things. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, Pearl, do you ever feel like this? Do you ever sense this? Do you ever, you know, have this this vision or feeling about things? And how do? You, and we shared, and mm -hmm. we just allowed. We allowed there to be no judgment to flow. To yeah, there was no flow. judgment. Mm -hmm. There was just we all there was raw honesty mm -hmm. you know of truth mm -hmm. and in that surfaced that was what because we were so real with each other that's why there was there was love there it's mm -hmm. like wow i can be myself mm -hmm. i mean this is morning we <laughs> you know was it i had my hair up i looked like pebbles from the flintstones you know <laughs> <laughs> don't take my picture <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, but we were ourselves, you know, we're sharing our vision, sharing what we want for the world, sharing. And, and this is the great thing. This is what I think is the best is that it is not about us. It is yeah, so much. About us. It's about the world. It's yes. about all of us. But I see I, when you say it's not about us, but, you know, I always have to put back. I always say give credit where credit's due. And that's the God because he put us as the instruments and he's proud of those instruments because he couldn't make us do what we did do and, and, and talk. He, it's coming through our voice, through him. And, and, and I always tell people, I'm not a religious person, but I'm a spiritual person. And I don't talk about God all the time as Josie talks about God all the time, but I listen all the time because what she's saying is so true. So even if you don't want to hear the God thing and God did this and God did that, you know, we talked last night and, and we talked about the people, the, the, the children that, that you say, well, I don't, believe God anymore. He took my child. I don't believe God. And what we said was so true. I mean, God gave up his only child. God gave up his only child. And look what he gave it to the world. And then you're telling him, I don't want to talk to you because you took my child, but he gave up his child for the whole world. So you have to really, you may not yes. be religious, but you could be spiritual to see maybe this is why things are happening. And, and the, for the negative people out there, turn positive. You have nothing to lose to experience it. Believe me. You know, when you talk positive, it happens. Everything that Josie and I talk of, we could talk for five hours a day and things will happen. She'll say something and then my, I make it go to work. Or she'll, I'll say something, she makes it go to work. And then we say, oh my God, did you see what we just did? <laughs> but we're, we're, see, we're shocked ourselves. Yes. We're shocked ourselves that this is happening so fast. Yes, yes. Absolutely. And we, I, two people can't make this happen. Somebody up above has to make this happen. 100%. Absolutely. Yes. I think the thing is, too, is that people think that they can outsmart God's ability to find them. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, you know, it, they can brush it away. But then when they're when they really need something, they're like, oh, God. Right. Mm -hmm. They need when they want. They, they're calling God when they really need them. You know, mm -hmm. and when they really need them. And the real the reality is for me, my reality. Mm -hmm. And this is just for something out there for them, because I don't. The biggest thing for me is, is that there's sometimes people speak and they try to, you know, push something. And my, 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 I'm not going to push anything. I'm going to share my my vision is to share. And if there's something here that resonates with the people at home, you know, with what I have to bring, what I'm sharing with, there's something that I say that resonates, then I've done what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do because I, when, when the teacher's ready, the student appears, mm -hmm. you know, that saying. So um, that's what I want to do. I just want to share the message. But, you know, people, what I've found is that sometimes people think that they can outsmart God, you know, like, mm -hmm. oh, it's no big deal, you know. But God is always ever present, you know, and he's trying to show and teach and he loves us no matter who you are. He loves us to the core. So he's just trying to teach us and show us and open up these vessels in us so oh, that we can see hope. From to Arizona, he did <laughs> well, something right. Yes. I mean, let's talk about that. I mean, think about it. We did not know each other at all. No. We did not know each other. No. I'm in Arizona. I'm in Philadelphia. You're in Philly. And now you're in Philly I'm sitting in Philly right now. beside me. <laughs> can you believe this? Yeah, truly. This is really a miracle in itself. It's a miracle in itself. <laughs> who would think? Who would think that God would put two people together from opposite ends of the United States and uh you know i'm gonna say something too let's talk about the kids mm -hmm. kids in america they are suffering in silence and why are they suffering in silence is because the adults are suffering and so remember people only do what they people parents are can only give what from what they 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 parents can only give by what they think they know and so if they're if a, if a parent is in turmoil internal turmoil they're not happy mm -hmm. they are barometers for their children they're sending those messages of whether it's insecurity whether it's fear whether it's anger whether it's pain they're 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 in they're subliminally sending messages to their children and they're probably verbalizing that too and our kids are suffering in silence so again going back to the guardian angels of justice and peace we are here to say we love you we love you and we want to go ahead and show you some incredible formats, some ways, things, and processes to help restore not only the, the adult, but the great thing is if you don't do it for yourself, then look at your babies at home and say, I want to do it for my kids. I want to make some changes because I know that their lives are going to be, a, their lives are being directed by what you say and do at home. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense to me. How would a person get a hold of? Me and you, through the garden angels of justice and peace. 
I think the biggest thing is if they want to find out more information about the guardians, the guardian angels of justice and peace, is just go to the website. Okay. They can go to the www.guardianangelsofjusticeandpeace.com, or they can go to guardianangelsdreamteam.com. It'll it'll direct you to the same site. And then they can get all the information on like the seminars and what we're doing around the country. And that we're going to be doing some phenomenal things. We're working with all types of, of, of leaders from around the world with incredible, loving, truthful spirits, you know, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. You know, you, you have all the information here. As, as Josie and I knew, this hour was going to go so fast. We knew it because we can talk for hours and hours <laughs> and hours. And, and, you know, we knew one hour was going to be five minutes. And, but it was enough to get our message across. And not only it's enough to get our message across, we decided come Wednesday show, you're going to see Josie and I again. Uh, this time we're going to talk about the topics that we know best. And uh, that's coming up this coming Wednesday at 7 o'clock at night on the Pearl Polto show. So it, it, you, you got one and you're going to get two. Uh, tonight, I'm not going to thank my guest tonight. Uh, for uh, today for being on my show because she's a part of it right now. She's a part of me right now. She's a part of the Garden Angels right now. And so I'm not going to thank her. She's not going to thank me. Oh, well, we have to say it. Thank you. <laughs> she, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, when we talked about that. We, okay. I know. Okay. I say thank you a lot. And you mm. said, you don't need to say thank you. And I said, no, I want to say thank you. And she goes, well, you know, you don't have to say thank you. You know, some things are just understood. Mm. I said, true, but there's some people that need to say, you know, there's some people that need to hear the word thank you. Yeah. And there's some people that need to, like, for instance, some people need to hear the word I'm sorry. Right. Like some people say, oh, I don't need to say I'm sorry. Right. Well, you know, maybe you don't need to say you're sorry, but maybe the person you're talking to feels they need to hear the All word right, I'm say sorry. It, say it. Say thank your, you. Say thank you. Thank you. And I love you. <laughs> You know we're gonna we're gonna be all over. Uh, you know this is this is gonna be great. We would want to be in your hometown. We love to be in your hometown. Uh, if you have a church organization and you want to meet Josie and you want to meet me in person to hear this viable word, wisdom through God, um, through every and and you know it's gonna be in Georgia, California, any place you want us to be. Hey, just and email it's, us. And it's gonna be phenomenal. There's gonna be music and yeah. everything inspiring that you can yeah. imagine. To lift your soul it's it's going to be amazing well people you heard it you heard it here the, the exciting news that we've been saying for a whole month and it's going to happen now it's going to happen and don't forget wednesday no we're not over yet part two josie's going to be talking about her her topic that's which she's really sincere about and my topic of credit and that's this wednesday night as well so this is pro polto and this is josie brandon and this is the <laughs> garden angels of justice and peace All right god bless you guys see you next week Twist, break this up.